Welcome. Thank you, Chris. Hi, Kala. Nice to have you. And fight. Wow, bringing some equipment on stage. And yeah. Um, yeah, you're going to tell us exactly how this all comes together. Cost efficiently, reliable, robust, all in one piece, right? Exactly. We are. All right. That's have fun. Why we are Thank here. you, Chris. We're really happy and excited to be here in Hanover Messe with you today to talk about the new Synamics G120X. You know, people still ask me, what does the X mean? And today, we're here to tell you what the X is and also how this frequency converter can help you to dominate in the infrastructure market. This could be in pumps and fans in the water, wastewater industry or in building automation. To do so, we have prepared four highlights for you. First one is easiness. Fight. How many times we have heard from a customer, we need a drive that is easy to select, easy to use, and also simple to install, like without needing these big manuals or even like trainings or stuff. Well, Carla, thank you for that. I'm, I have to say, yes, I heard a lot about that, mm -hmm. especially if this need comes together with drives to operate a motor in a really efficient and easy way. So I can say from our perspective, we focus on a development on this new product, especially on easiness. Easiness means for us that the product should be continuously easy to select, easy to order, and of course, easy to set up finally. So what does it mean? When we talk about easy selecting a product in uh, Synamics, you do have there, accessible over our web page, of course, the Drive Technology Configurator. Drive Technology Configurator allows you to select it easily depending on the motor you have, depending on the power range you have, or maybe you have a current. And of course, you can also take this to place it to it and to get the right selection out of that. What else is important to us? The drive comes after the selection and ordering out of the box to your side. That means everything is included. The panel, of course, uh, the screening plate to connect your cables to it, and of course the drive itself, the very important thing, preset it. And this is, let's say, something what we say, easy to use, easy to order, easy to select. But let's go deeper yes. a little bit let's inside the stuff of the smart access module and of course of our, uh, let's say, intelligent operator panel. The next step, Carla, I know you're very familiar with those things. And over to you. Thank you. This nice iPad. I know she is doing this as a best. So what we show here is basically how easy it is to commission a drive. Just a principle for it. You take today a smart device, could be, for instance, uh, such a panel. And uh, we are connected via Wi-Fi to our drive, Synamics G120X. There's a web server running on it. And you can do an easy connection between both. And then by pressing of just the button, quick setup, you start up a five-point commissioning or a setup process in order to get the drive run and operating smoothly on the motor. This is one possibility where we say digitalization comes into this drive's world where you can do a really easy setup and easy commissioning. OK, the other possibility is, of course, the IOP, Intelligent Operator Panel. When I see uh, it was, or say it was uh, focused on easiness, we know that a lot of customers need a panel also, what you see on the left-hand side there, um, to set it up. Also, this intelligent operator panel is specialized. So it detects, yes, there is a drive for pumps and fans, and I ask you exactly the right questions to set it up and to make it easy and fast. So this is customer value when I say easiness. For sure. Yeah. And that's the first reason why G120X will help you master the infrastructure application. Please remember, easy to select and easy to use. And that brings us to our second point, that is reliability, robustness, and efficiency. And I will tell you why with a few examples. G120X has them all. We are reliable. This is a grid-friendly drive with a low impact on the power quality. And that is because now we have integrated a diesel in choke even in the small frame sizes. We are robust, so that's the second point. And we're robust because we can use this drive even in harsh environments. We have 
coded seed grid boards as a standard. Yes, more protection for your components. And we are efficient. Efficient because we support high efficiency motors. And also, as well, inside the drive, we have applications for efficiency already installed, like echo mode, hibernation mode, even energy calculator that will help you keep track of your energy savings. So in general, fight. I think we can say we fit right in in your infrastructure application. Right? Of course. And that's exactly the point, infrastructure applications. What else do we need for it? Yeah. Um, yes, it's a branch-specific solution. And uh, what do we understand with a branch-specific solution? It is basically two points. We can say we need it in hardware as well as we need it in software. And uh, let's talk about the hardware first. You already mentioned, of course, our yeah. integrated diesel link choke. But if you are in those infrastructure surroundings, you have a motor somewhere in the field and the cabinet where the drive is installed in is somewhere else. You need to support long cable lengths by achieving, of course, EMC compliance. EMC means um, the influence of the drive to the network, radio emissions, for instance. And uh, what we do here is we support long cable lengths as a standard from a small power range up to 630 kW. Mm -hmm. And we are able to support here up to 150 meters for screen cables, where you can easily connect the motor and you are not care about the EMC and compliance question. So this is something what I would say is really hardware dedicated as an example. There are some more things in that. But uh, let's say, let's stay with this most important point. On the other hand side, when we talk about software, you need to support applications, especially in pumps and fans. What could be important there? Mm. We divided this in three phases. Yes. Basically, the starting phase, the operating phase, and the stopping phase. For, I'll give you an example. In the starting phase, it's really dangerous for a pipe system if a pump push the water quickly into the pipe system, and then basically um, you get a hammer effect maybe to this pipe, which is influencing, of course, the lifetime to it. So such a drive system is dedicated to avoid that. If you enable this functionality, you can use it to switch it on smoothly. The drive can react depending on the time or depending on the pressure, whatever you select, and avoid those kind of hammer effects to gives you a longer lifetime to a pipe system. This is what we say dedicated first software functionality, where a lot of them are implemented in yes. the Dynamics G120X. Yes. So, so far, we have talked about easiness, reliability, robustness, and efficiency, and now branch-specific characteristics, which left us with one more point, that is digitalization. And yes, G120X is, of course, right and ready for digitalization. We can connect together with this box that you see right here, the new Synamics Connect 300. You can connect up to eight drives to this box pull out your data into the cloud, MindSphere, and then use different applications. An example is Analyze My Drive, where you can use all of this information from your machine to further analyze, predict, and make actions on time. So you will have a full overview of your fleet in one central place. And yes, digital completely. Fight. Yes? Of course. And uh, this digital. brings us to our last point, Carla. So, we want to highlight the most four important points for such a Dynamics G120X drive. If you have a takeaway and you remember that the drive is convincing, simple, and easy yes. to set up, this is the first point which is important to us. The second point is reliable. It's efficient because of its hardware and, of course, software design. It is brand-specific and dedicated in firmware as well as brand-specific hardware solutions and of course, it's, thanks, Carla, for saying this, um, efficient to implement into digitalization to enable you to get a predictive maintenance, for instance, in your application. And now you know what the X stands for. It stands for all of these characteristics. And of course, X means cross branches between water, wastewater, and HVAC applications. And well, 
If you have further questions or you wish to just come and talk to us, we are here in Hall 9 in the G120X booth. Just follow the X. Thank you, everybody. Yes. And listen to us. Yeah. Thank you very much. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.